Hi, I'm Gail Ray. Welcome to my online Making Angelina doll course. And we're going to go around the ear in about three stitches at a time until we get to the top, then we'll do two stitches at a time. And then I'm going to come through out that first little dot I drew, right about there. I'm not going to try to touch that brown eyeliner line, but I want to get pretty close to it. The hole under the thumb is larger than the hole on the other side of the hand, so we're going to use that hole to insert the finger into, going into the pinky first. Pivoting, pivoting, pivoting. <laughs> it is three ply poly wrapped poly, and I like to buy it in a larger cone from Omni Thread. This equals 21 of these, so it's a huge savings. I love this thread. And I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit. I'm not trying to cover the whole area. There, I had a nice little bit of sparkle, and what that does. It adds dimension when we turn her face. And the pinky and the pointer finger tend to bend in slightly like this. So get a little bend going in and then you can make a second knuckle. I'm going to turn the light box on. I'm going to peel away the backing. And now I can see where my marks are so that I can trace this side. Once I get that in there, about halfway, I can take that piece and push it to the inside. And I just want to make sure I have a very strong ankle. Now I'm going to pull that. I don't want to pull it so far that she's very frowny, but I want to over pull it just a little bit. I put my fingers on it and then my thumb in the back. And just as a guide, we do want to make sure that the inch square on our pattern is actually an inch. So we may need to size up or down our print. And I'm moving up the leg. I'm about just above the calf. So I'm going to try and create a bulge at the calf area. You can see how that's starting to form a calf muscle. I'm just going to lay the finger on top of the crystal, just position it into place, crimp it. Good. And I'll go into the next. 